This is Radio Nepal. I am Dela Prasai with the news. The headlines first. Speaker and top leaders of major three party discuss making parliamentary process effective. Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda says leaders discussed forwarding bill on Truth and Reconciliation Commission, Constitutional Council and Money Laundering. Deputy Prime Minister Narayan Kaji stressed directs officials not to leave any security lapses in Thiruvan International Airport. And at least 27 people die or missing after two migrant boats sank off the east coast of Tunisia. Now the news in detail. Speaker Dev Raz Kimiri has held talks with top leaders of the three major political parties on how to make the parliament's business more effective. Speaker Kimiri held talks with Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda, the party congress president Sherbahadu Deoba and CPN UML chair KP Sharma Oli at the office of the speaker in Shingadarbar yesterday evening. Talking to media persons after the meeting, Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda said they discussed forwarding the under consideration bill related to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, the bill related to Constitutional Council and the bill related to money laundering. The Prime Minister added that the major opposition CPN UML viewed that the bill related to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission should be finalized in the consensus. Deputy Prime Minister Narayan Kaji Shrestha has directed the concerned officials not to leave any security lapse in Trivuvan International Airport. During his inspection visit to the airport yesterday, Deputy Prime Minister Shrestha asked the officials to discharge their duties and impart services based on the government's priorities. The Deputy Prime Minister also asked the officials to forward the short-term and long-term reform plans to upgrade the airport services. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Defence Purnabahadu Khadka has said the Nepali Congress will join the Karnali province government soon. Talking to media persons at Surkhet Airport yesterday, Deputy Prime Minister Khadka explained that the Nepali Congress would join the provincial government in accordance with the coalition in federal government. In a different note, Deputy Prime Minister Khadka to provide adequate budget to Karnali province as vowed by himself and Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda during November 20 elections. Minister for Communications and Information Technology Rekha Sharma says the government was preparing to streamline public welfare and proportional advertisement through one door policy. Inaugurating the 23rd Annual General Assembly of the Federation of Nepali Journalists Kathmandu Chapter in Kathmandu yesterday, Minister Sharma shared that the government was going to formulate a policy to manage public welfare advertisements through the common minimum program. Minister Sharma further said the government had been effortful to make laws related, relevant rather, to the changed contexts. Minister for Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation, Sudan Kirati, has said that the government was preparing to bring new Tourism Act. Inaugurating the first general convention of the Gandaki province of Hotel Association of Nepal in Pokhara yesterday, Kirati, Minister Kirati said the new Tourism Act would be contextual by revising several issues of the existing Act. Likewise, Minister Kirati shared that the ministry was working to bring immediate plans and programs based on the necessity, adding that Nepal's tourism products would be publicized in the international market with the new themes. 
the official Facebook page of the Office of Prime Minister and Council of Ministers has resumed after two years. The Prime Minister press expert Manahari Timalsena said a special IT team at the Personal Secretariat of the Prime Minister verified the page as part of its plan to operate all sorts of social sites in a bid to provide official information about government's activities to the people. The Social Security Fund has reached an agreement with 44 hospitals across the country on the matter relating to the coverage of medical expenses spent by its contributors. As per the agreement, beneficiaries have to pay only 20% amount of the total expenses spent in course of taking health care facilities from the listed hospitals, while the rest expenses will be covered under the Social Security Fund. To get the facility, the contributor should show an identity card provided by the Social Security Fund to get the provided discounts on medical expenses. Joint spokesperson at the fund, Rohit Regmi, said now the contributors would get the hassle-free services from the hospitals. House Speaker Devraj Kimiri has said Lions Club has played a democratic role thereby contributing to health, education and environment sectors. Inaugurating the first convention of the Lions Club International District 325 Meter Nepal in Kathmandu yesterday, Speaker Kimiri also lauded the Lions Club's role in disaster management. You're listening to Radio Nepal ATM English News Bulletin. We continue with the international updates now. 27 people are dead or missing after two migrant boats sank off the east coast of Tunisia. According to BBC, the first boat left Tunisia for Italy on Friday with 37 on boat. 20 are still missing, while 17 have rescued a coach spokesperson in the city of Asfak said. On Saturday, four bodies were recovered from a beach after a second boat sank. 36 people who were on the second boat were rescued and three are missing, the spokesperson said. The spokesperson Fauji Masmodi said the boats were made of iron seats. Since the start of March, there have been at least seven similar shipwrecks of Tunisia with around 100 people dead or missing. Ukraine is able to export electricity for the first time in six months as its energy infrastructure recovers from months of repeated Russian attacks. According to BBC, Russia began its lengthy and deliberate assault on Ukraine's energy infrastructure last October. It led to power cuts and scheduled blackouts, leaving towns and cities in darkness during winter. Ukraine was forced to stop electricity exports but will now be able to sell its excess power again. Energy Minister Harman Halusenjin co-signed an executive order authorizing the exports. All the local customers remain the priority. Meanwhile, more than 30 children have been reunited with their families in Ukraine this week after a long operation to bring them back from Russia where they had been taken from occupied areas during the war, a humanitarian group has said. According to Al Jazeera, Kiev has estimated nearly 19,500 children have been taken to Russia since Moscow invaded in February last year in what it condemns as illegal deportations. Moscow, which controls parts of Ukraine's east and south, has denied abducting children and said they have been transported away for their own safety. Now the journal weather forecast for the country for today. The Meteorological Forecasting Division has forecast the weather to be partly cloudy in Koshi Province, Madhesh Province, Bagmati Province, Gandaki Province and Karnali Province 
and partly cloudy to mainly fair in the rest of the country. Isolated brief rain or thunder showers are likely to occur at one or two places of the hilly region of Karnali province. Kathmandu's weather report now. Maximum temperature of 29 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature of 12 degrees Celsius. With this news, we have come to the end of this bulletin. But before we wrap up the headlines once again. Speaker and top leaders of major three party discuss making parliamentary process effective. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda says leaders discussed forwarding bill on Truth and Reconciliation Commission, Constitutional Council and money laundering. Deputy Prime Minister Narayan Kaji stressed her directs officials not to leave any security lapses in Trivon International Airport. And at least 27 people die or missing after two migrant boats sank off the east coast of Tunisia. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English news edition is at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.radionepal.gov.np for more news and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe and have a good day.